Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So the big guest, the biggest news today is that Greece are not going to make their IMF payment today of 305 million euros. They deferred it to pay a, a, over a 1 billion euro payment on the 30th of June. Um, which kind of just came out of the blue, came out of nowhere, saying, oh, we're going to pay all, all four tranches in one go uh, at the end of June. Uh, and that obviously gives more time for um, for further negotiations. That's a bit of a cop-out, to be completely honest. But um, with some more data come out of, uh, of, of Asia, I think we have uh, saw the Chinese market spiked up, uh, as there's still greater hopes that there's going to be further stimulus out there as uh, the latest data releases uh, from over in Asia are again disappointed. What you've seen there is US 30 ticking down, a kind of a cautious approach before today's non-farm payrolls. Um, I think it's probably expected to come in around about 200,000 odd. Anything above 250 or below 150 would uh, would be enough to, uh, to shake the tree a little bit. But a very negative day yesterday, as in it's quite uh, firmly a bearish engulfing pattern. It's drifting lower again this morning. European, Germany 30 and UK 100 markets also drifting lower this morning. Um, 17.895 is the next potential support. MACD's crossing the zero line. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, to be honest, it's all about non-farm payrolls. What typically happens is nobody places that many trades until they know exactly what's going on. Um, uh, so things quieten down. All the markets kind of flatten out a little bit. So don't be surprised if you see that happen today. You can see here that the UK 100 chart looks particularly ugly. We've been talking about this breakout for... Um, a good couple of sessions. Well, it happened yesterday. It's following through again today. 67.71 is the next potential support. And you break this, you, you break this trend line. That that is usually uh, preceded by a lot of downwards pressure. So there needs to be something quite spectacular coming out of non-farm payrolls if we're going to get uh, a decent spike up. And to be honest, even if non-farm payrolls came out and just blew away everybody's expectations, people, the market still might react negatively because they might go, well, interest rates are definitely going to increase, uh, so let's take some money off the table. So it's a bit of a catch-22, you just can't really tell. If the number just comes in okay, um, the market might recover slightly. If it comes in weight, if it comes in really, really strong, then that also kind of shakes things up a little bit as well. So moving on to Japan 225, not doing a huge amount, dollar yen uh, creeping up 124.50, um, Japan 225 isn't worth kind of really looking at because in the middle of two ranges right this second. Moving on to dollar yen, dollar yen still bouncing around 124.42, longer term potential resistance 126, obviously this is going to be important for uh, non-farm payrolls today depending how that figure comes out. Moving on to best types of crude, it's coming off again, OPEC meeting today, widely expected to keep the um, to keep pumping production at current levels uh, and that's caused a, a bit of a sell-off we're almost kind of getting into kind of a range here incidentally um, but I'd say 50, 57 dollars is potential support followed by 5485 uh, I'm not entirely quite sure what time that OPEC session finishes up or how the report what their oil production uh, details are uh, but you'll soon see it move in crude oil west texas as it comes out so looking at gold uh, gold obviously taking the lead at non-farm payrolls is going to be on target to good um, that's why we're seeing this kind of that, that, that sell off once we get below the tips of these candles right here 1137 is the next potential support gold is the one to watch if, if Non-farm payrolls comes out really, really strong at 250 plus. Uh, then gold's going to get smashed. Uh, very interest rate specific. Obviously, it's got a big dollar connection as do all commodities, uh, and it's already looking weak. Almost got a death cross here in the moving averages, and the MACD is firmly below the zero line. Uh, and the other technicals like the RSI and the slow stochastic kind of show that there is further room for uh, downwards action. So finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD. Euro dollar very strong. Horrible looking doji formation, bond yields uh, really dropped off, uh, big reversal in bonds um, yesterday, obviously pressures off the um, the euro a little bit because we're deferring the payment there until, until June. Uh, well, I say the pressure's off. They've not gotten the resolution that the euro probably would have really liked, which is, you know, everything's all, all, all rosy in Greece. So that's making the euro come off slightly. Obviously, we've got non-farm perils as well, but it's an ugly technical signal to have. Uh, firmly a graveyard doji formation. So finishing up with GBP, USD, um, surprising strength from sterling, considering there's not been a huge amount of data. Um, I think there was some sort of inflationary data that came out of... Um, UK recently, that was slightly better than expected, but uh, yesterday we were much higher, 154.24, before we dropped off a little bit, so we've not had that that, uh, that proper reversal. It does look like it did bounce off that support level, one spot 51.85, which also coincides with the 55 period SMA. We need to get above 154.24 before we can rechallenge 150. 
six. So we talked before, make sure you have your alarms and your alerts set for non-farm payrolls. We do have a webinar today as well with Michael Hewson. You go to support and you go to live trader events and just sign up to the non-farm payrolls webinar. And he'll give live commentary at 1.15 to 1.45 UK time. And um, if we wait to see if things kind of finish up, we don't have a huge amount else. If we fast forward then on to Monday, you've got Chinese trade balance that's going to be important as ever. And you've got German industrial output as well. So keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of the day going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.